Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, and up to the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly. Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. The Beverly Hillbilly. same trouble. No, movie stars. Them poor souls are so lonely for visitors that they have got maps made up showing how to get to their home. I'll be switched. Where'd you get this? They got their youngins down along uh, Sunset Boulevard, waving them and yelling at the cars. They must be plumb desperate. <laughs> Look there. Jerry Grant. There, Doris Day. Bless their poor, lonesome souls. I know just how they feel. Just goes to show you, Granny, by the time you get to feeling sorry for yourself, along comes somebody that's worse off than you. Ain't it the truth? Jed, I've been wanting to have a quiltin' bee and a molasses stir off. Suppose I invite some of them poor, lonesome movie star ladies. Well, that's a dandy idea, Granny. Let's see who they got here. Uh, Joanne Crawford? Marlene Dietrich? Rita Garbo? Can't you find any famous ones? <laughs> yeah, here's one. Here's the biggest. America's sweetheart, Mary Pickford. <laughs> now, you wouldn't want to have molasses stir up without a little Mary, would you? That's a fact. I'll have Jethro cut her an extra long sop stick so she won't get her curls in the hot sorghum. <laughs> Say, Granny, they got a lot of fellas on here. Uh, why not have a barn dance and invite them, too? <laughs> That's a good idea. Is there enough fellers to pair off for a square dance? Well, let's see. Is uh, Danny Kay, Ray Bolger, Bing Crosby, Fred Astaire? Might even be a tolerable dancer in the bunch. <laughs> I hope so. I've just been itching to have a good old fashioned window rattling hoedown. Me too. <laughs> Let's commence calling on them poor, lonesome movie stars and invite them to our dance. Well, uh, you and Jethro are going to have to do that, Granny. Uh, I'm waiting for Miss Drysdale to come over and see me. What about? Well, she wants me to put some money in a new business she's starting, something called uh, Beverly Hill Ballet Company. <laughs> What's a ballet company? Company makes ballets, I reckon, whatever they are. <laughs> invite her to our dance. I will. I will. <laughs>
bravo, maestro, bravo! Divine, mes chers, oh, maestro, the Beverly Hills Ballet Company is going to be without peer. At the moment, it is without money. <laughs> we need more dancers, more costumes, musicians, a theater, everything. Yes, I know. I've set my goal at $200,000. And uh, you are nearing this goal? I need only one more donation. Do you hear that, my children? One more? <laughs> Run, leap, jump, work, dance! <laughs> but, Maestro, I haven't finished. That one donation must be for 190000 Save it! <laughs> Rest. However, there is a man, Mr. J.D. Clampett, who could pledge that amount and never miss it. Well, what are we waiting for? Run, leap, jump, work! No, not you, not you, her. <laughs> Go see this gentleman. Gentleman? He's a crude, crass, glout of a hillbilly. He's never even seen a ballet. Well, we're even. I have never seen $190,000. <laughs> oh, greetings, maestro. And a happy Arabesque to you, Miss Old Paul. <laughs> Mrs. Drysdale, your husband grows impatient for lunch, and we have to make a stop at the Clampets first. Oh, dear, I dread this ordeal. Au revoir, Maestro. Madame. Au revoir, live spirits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, children, from the top. Swing your partner all sashay, Alvin left the doors day. All your hands in circle right here, Granny's stepping tonight. Thanks so soon, Granny. <laughs> Paul's got some day and you calls for the square dine. You run into trouble? How many movie stars did you see? I didn't see none. Well, how come? Didn't Jethro take you around to all the homes? Oh, yeah. Must have been to a dozen of them with love in my heart and a smile on my face. And what do you think I got for my trouble? I got door slam, butler sassed, and dog bit. Dog bit? Yeah, dog bit. Come on, Margaret. It's open. I can't do it. You ask them to pledge the money. Or Miss Hathaway. No, sir. For two years, you've done nothing but mean mouth the Clampets. Now that you want their money, you can jolly well sweet mouth them. <laughs> but the money is not for me. It's to bring the ballet to Beverly Hills. Well, I don't care if it's to bring the Beatles to Bel Air. <laughs> Please. Oh, no. If you want their bread, you put the bite on it. <laughs> Melvin, I simply can't. I can't humble myself to those peasants. Okay. Chief, if I may interpose a word of reason. All right, but don't make it Cicero's oration. <laughs> Mrs. Drysdale, to see Beverly Hills have its own ballet company has been your lifelong dream. And now, just when the muse of Terpsichore is about to dance her pas de deux with reality, do not permit the villain of pride to drop the curtain of failure upon the twinkling toes of success. <laughs> Lift high the better of aught, unfurl the pendant of culture. And stuff them both in the mouth of my secretary. <laughs> what tarnation is going on? Stand clear down there. <laughs> Granny, what are you doing? I'm moving back home, that's what I'm doing. Have Jethro commence loading up my stuff. Quicker I get out of Beverly Hills, the better. What's going on, Pop? Here, Granny's moving out again. You get this stuff picked up, I'll go talk to her. That's it, Bessie. You help me. Please come with me, Melbourne. No, Margaret. This is something you must do. And do it fast. I'm late for lunch. Uh, Chief, if I may interpose a word of reason, I... You may wait in the car, Cicero. <laughs> now, you'll find out for yourselves that the Clampers are not what you accuse them of being, but kind, gentle, generous people. Well, hi there, Miss Drysdale. Come right in. <laughs> 
Would you like to meet Cousin Bessie? Oh, yes, indeed. Any member of your family is a friend of mine. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> well, what a charming little uh, uh, cousin. Do you like her? She's adorable. You're that, Bessie? Give Miss Drysdale a kiss. No. <laughs> well, she don't mind. <laughs> Thank you. Where's your father? Oh, he's in the zoo. Uh, not her father, yours. <laughs> oh, he's upstairs in Granny's room. Go right on up. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Clappett, Granny, may I speak to you about the ballet? How would you like to have the door slammed in your face? It chased off the property. How would you like to have the dog sit on you? Margaret, I'm late for lunch. Where are you going? Oh! Shall I follow with you? No, the food's better downtown. <laughs> Gonna let her go back home, are you? Don't worry about it, Ellie. I had Jethro hide the truck. If Granny's coming, you better hide Cousin Bessie. <gasps> Thought you could stop me by hiding the truck, huh? Well, it didn't work. I'm moving back home in the wheelbarrow. That's a far piece from Beverly Hills, Granny. Ain't far enough to suit me. Who told you you could lay on my bed? Same fella told you you could take my wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> out of this place. Getting out of here right now. Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Movie stars. Invited them to my molasses stirrup. I mean it. Who showed up? What kind of people are there here? Place is full of smog. Can't get out of here soon enough to shoot me. Been here too long as it is. That's what I'll do. Kick me out of the. I, <laughs> oh, Miss Hathaway, you have brought the money, and you, you must be Mr. Clampett, our hillbilly patron. Live with joy, children! <laughs> Maestro, we did not get the money. What? Hold it! <laughs> Gentleman is not... Gentlemen, Mrs. Drashdale was right. He's a crass, crude lout. Maestro. His fine clothes do not fool me. He has the look of a pig. <laughs> you. You have the look of an unemployed jumping teacher. Maestro, this is Mr. Drysdale. <laughs> My humblest apologies, fine gentleman. You're going to put up the money for the Beverly Hills Ballet Company. I am not. He still has the look of a pig. I <laughs> may interpose. You story. get back to the bank now. I've wasted all the time I'm going to on this non-profit organization. <laughs> My, maestro, maestro, li listen to me. All is not lost. Contrary to what Mrs. Drysdale has told you, Mr. Clampett is a man of vision and intelligence. Once he has been exposed to the beauty of the ballet, he will gladly pledge the money. Do you think so? I am positive. Take some of your dancers, speed to his mansion, and reveal to him the poetry of motion at his ballet. Yes, yes, that's what we're going to do. Wonderful. We're going to do it. Wonderful. 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 Three or four more. By dingies, this wheelbarrow holds more than the truck. <laughs> Have I forgot anything? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the first one of them that ever grabbed me back. <laughs> that little varmint grabbed all of my stuff under the bed. Shall I wait? 
No, but you may come back in a half an hour. Meantime, we have a performance to give and $190,000 to collect. Wow, 190 grand for a half hour? <laughs> How do you get in this ballet racket? Be <laughs> gone, peasant. <laughs> My children, you must be as supple as gazelles. Now, Granny, don't judge a whole town by a few butlers. A place the size of Beverly Hills is bound to have some nice folks. If they is, I ain't met them. Now, Granny, you're going home to a lot of ice and snow. Just come over here and look at our flowers and green grass and nice leafy tree. <laughs> What's wrong, Paul? Just when I'm trying to sell Granny on Beverly Hills, some darn fool neighbor commences running around in his underwear. <laughs> it's worse than I thought. Now he's chasing a girl, and she ain't got no clothes on neither. <laughs> What happened? He caught her. I shall try another door. Keep supple, my gazelles. Dance, dance. <laughs> Now he's after two of them. Girls, I'll hold him while she get away. Fire control. Fire control. Well, at least I scared him off. Now, quick, get into your clothes. These are all the clothes we have. We're ballerinas. Both of you? Yes. She's Margot and I'm Diane. Pa, huh? hmm. Granny's got a wheelbarrow loaded and fixing to leave. All right, Ellie. Take care of these girls. Get them some clothes. <laughs> these are ballerina sisters. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Mr. Clappett, have the people from the Beverly Hills Ballet Company arrived? Oh, ma'am, and I'm glad they haven't. I got my hands full of trouble. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, uh, Granny's trying to move back home, and uh, some fella running around his long johns chasing a couple of poor sisters. They ain't got a dress to their name. <laughs> Get off of there, you vermin! Sorry, Miss Jane, I gotta go. <laughs> There, you hairy little hitchhiker! <laughs> now, Granny, listen to reason. You can't get this load out of the house, much less over the Rocky Mountains. We'll see about that. I declare you are the muliest little woman. Come, no, come, no. come quick! Now, you stay here. I got more trouble than I know how to handle. I ain't staying anywhere. And you're gonna have push when we get to the Rockies. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where's the girl? What are you doing in here? That fella in his in his underwires come back. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, good. You caught the rascal. I want to thank you for pitching in and helping. Uh, I'm just clamping. <laughs> You are Mr. Clampett. Do you hear that, my children? Oh, are all three of these young and yours? Yes. I will have them dance for you, and then perhaps you will give us the money we so desperately need. Come, come, children. Dance, dance. Oh, no, no, they don't have to dance. I'll be glad to help you. Just uh, keep it kind of quiet and uh, step over here out of sight. I don't want Granny to see the way they dress. <laughs> or undress. <laughs> Oh, you're the one that's holding me back. Let go, you grabby little goober. You're riding free as it is. <laughs> yeah, I can see where you need money to uh, buy clothes and all. Uh, how much do you think it'll take? A hundred and ninety thousand dollars. A hundred and ninety thousand? Were these three young? Oh, no. I hope to have fifty. Fifty? You spoke to your wife about this? Of course. Well, hoping and having is two different things. Uh, here's 35 or 40 dollars. You're welcome to it. But this is nothing. We must have beautiful clothes made. We must have an orchestra to play for us. We must have our own theater. Mister, I can see there's something you ain't learned yet. You gotta crawl before you can walk. Wow! Oh, trying to come down them stairs with that wheelbarrow full of... Oh, <laughs> 
Mr. Ballerina. He's young as ain't got clothes on their backs, and he spends his money on taxi cabs. <laughs> Mr. Clampett. Mr. Clampett! Oh, howdy, Miss Drysdale. I've been expecting you since morning. I came earlier, but Granny drove me away. I'm sorry about that. She's been madder than a stepped-on cat all day. Now, let's see. Uh, you've been wanting me to give you some money for your ballet company. Oh, Mr. Clampett, would you help us? Why, you bet I would. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, what is a ballet? It's the most beautiful form of the dance. Dance, huh? It's something Beverly Hills has needed for a long time. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, you fixing to have one? If you'll give me the money. You got it. This ballet might be just a ticket to keep Granny from moving out. She's pretty as fond of dancing as she is of scrapping. I'll go home and get a pledge. Pledge? Yes. Everyone who participates is required to sign a pledge. Well, sounds like a good idea. I always did say, dancing and drinking don't mix. <laughs> Granny, please don't go. Pa, don't let Granny go. Well, I don't blame her, Ellie. Really. If I was Granny, I wouldn't want to get showed up myself. Showed up by who? Doing what? Mrs. Drysdale, dancing. That woman ain't never seen a day she could outdance me. This is stuff you don't know, Granny. It's something called a ballet. I gotta brush up on it myself. <laughs> I could ballet better than that. I'd give up. Oh, you know the dance. I was balleting long before you or Miss Drysdale was ever born. <laughs> Come here. Mr. Clavett, I must speak to you about the ballet. I, I, I gotta, I gotta talk to you first. Oh, what about Granny? About the best road to take over the Rockies with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> best road to open? Never mind that. Where does a person learn ballet dancing? What a ballet studio. Let's go. Oh, but Granny, <laughs> don't argue with me. Get in this thing and drive. <laughs> This is madness. But listen, Maestro, she holds the key to the future of the Beverly Hills Ballet Company. We're ready, Maestro. All right, my children. Very pretty now. Entree. Maestro. <laughs> Maestro, victory is ours. I have Mr. Clavitt's pledge. Dance. <laughs> Leap with joy, children. Vive la culture. Time to say goodbye to Jed and all his kin. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. 
You're all invited back next week to this locality to have a heapin' helpin' of their hospitality. Hillbilly, that is. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, here. This has been a Filmways presentation.